Hi, Milo Ketchum here. Tower gardening, column gardening, whatever you want to call it, becoming pretty popular. I've had a bit of a struggle learning about this, but I'm going to try to show you how it works. This is the finished product. It has 30 different cups. Inside is a tube that has holes drilled through it, more holes at the top than at the bottom. That's because you want more water at the top instead of it all running out. And you feed special formula of worms and uh, mulch that's considered food for the entire soil package in here. After you've got this constructed, you put a plug in the bottom. Now, I had someone ask me, well, why do you put a wooden plug in there? The reason for it is because the cap cost $74, so I just made my own. Real quick, I'm going to show you how I do that, and then we'll get on to the construction. So bring the camera over here, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. This is just junk tubercles right here. But you have to have a nice, clean, straight edge to make the glue work. So you just put a bead of glue here, here, and on each side of that, and I'm not going to do it, but I'll show you, and you just clamp it together with a clamp and let it sit for about an hour or so. And then you just draw an X over here, that'll give you the middle. Then, show you this piece here, what this is, you need, you saw the pipe in the middle of that one over there? Well, this little device here, you take two of these the next size up and you put that all together and that fits over that and that makes that hole wide. Pretty easy to understand because that fits right in there like that. All right, enough about that. Now we're going to show you how to lay out these lines. This is self-evident. Five and a half across, six down. Now, I saw a kid over in Indonesia, didn't use a tape measure, he used a string to go around that and folded it up and came up, well, this. So, you start at the top, line that up, and at the corners, you just make a dot on each corner, and you start out by making the dots, you don't draw the lines first, and then you go to the next one, which is a space, and then you go to the next one, and there's dots, connect the dots in other words. After you get that all the way around, you go to the next one, draw the dots, move it over, draw the dots, and then you cut these. Now the way that you cut these, self evident I'm sure you can see how this works, this paper works all the way down. It just rotates round and round and round. It just alternates one to the other back and forth. Now to cut these, you take a jigsaw and that fits directly in this hole. You zip it through. Very easy to do. All right, that's how that's made. So I've shown you the completed project over here. This is a 10 inch. It's got the feeding tube in the center. And I have just six inch screws that hold that pipe in the middle. Plug in the bottom. Now I'm going to show you this setup of how we actually make those cups. We use a wine bottle. Did we drink the wine? Absolutely. Have to have an empty bottle to do this. We have a heat gun. This you can get at Harbor Freight, man, maybe 15 bucks, something like that. Now I've made this on a stick. And there's just one screw in that. That's so that I can move this around. Now I've seen lots of videos of people here are holding this up and way where other people are holding their hand like that. I said, no, I'm going to let that piece of wood hold it for me. Okay, you turn this on high. Now you, I've already started this one. You can see I've got several done already. So I just move to the next row. And I line this up so that this is directly over it. You look at it this way, it's lined up, 
and you look at it from the other end to see if it's centered. And this again it moves so you can center that. Now this takes about a minute and a half to get this thing warmed up. And the reason that I have it this high is so that it doesn't melt it too quickly and the heat disperses out around it. And you just watch it for a while and pretty soon you'll see this edge start to soften just a little bit and it will start to open up just, just a hair. And that's when it's pretty much ready. Now I do have some water, a wet rag, ready to cool this plastic down whenever it melts after I'm done with the bottle. Now, during this time of heating, you can uh, get on your phone and look up your latest uh, YouTube thrill, or you can pet the dog, or the cat if he's in here. And the animals are a lot of fun in here. So, I can see that this is starting to separate just a little bit. Now, you can see that it's softening, but it's not quite there yet because it needs to soften way over to the corners. Now the reason I don't put my finger in there is because it immediately fry me. See, it's getting softer there. It's not quite there yet. It's just a, you gotta wait. It's almost there. Kind of like baking cookies. You just want to get it done quick. But it's not ready till it's ready. Okay, that's just about ready. Now, I'll move this out of the way and put it over that next hole so that while I'm doing this and that bottle just easily fits right in there and you want to pull that out just a little bit so that lip is making what we need and you immediately cool it off with a wet rag I'm going to pull the bottle out and cool this part too because they're equally heated the same Okay, now that one's done. And in the meantime, while I was doing that, this other one was heating. It may not be exactly centered, but I'll get that now. Pretty close. Okay, there it is. Check it out. And you can go through this over and over and over and over and over and over again. <laughs> now the six inch model, same procedure as the uh, 10 inch. They come in 10 foot lengths. Both of these do. Now this is probably about 15 bucks for a, a 10 footer. This 10 inch is about 60 bucks for a 10 footer. You cut them directly in half, five foot. Try to cut them nice so that they're nice and smooth. But either size works and you can use eight inch if you like too. Some people like 12, but man, that's a lot of money. So that, <laughs> being on a retired guy's budget, 10 inch and six inch is about what we're doing. All right, we're going to get back here and check this one since we've been uh, fooling around. And that's almost there. You can see it start to separate a little bit, but it's not quite there. Just move the hair longer. All right, we'll move it out of the way so we don't get burnt. Stick that in there. It's not difficult at all. You just pull that out a little bit, cool it off with a rag, pull in, cool it off with a rag again, and it's there. All right, couldn't be easier. We just hold it to the next one again. Same procedure over and over and over again. Thanks for watching.